Thank you, Chris. I am here at Parktown Place, located at 2200 Ben Franklin Boulevard. Today, we're going to talk about an interesting renovation that Parktown Place is doing in conjunction with InLiquid. It is very interesting. They have a gallery space and part of their renovation, mind you, this is a 59-year-old complex. So let's take a peek at what they're conjuring up for us. Hi Drew, thanks for uh, speaking with me today. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here. It's unique, this is an eight acre oasis right here in Philadelphia. And right eight in acres? Eight acres, Holy lots of greenery Lord. right here in the heart of the Museum District. Well, we have 944 apartments, Okay. Um, so approximately 2,000 residents. That's amazing. The grounds look impeccable. I hear there's some sculpture out here. You've got some commercial space as well. Yes, we've got a fantastic marketplace. We have an awesome salon. We have Doggy VIP. They do boarding, grooming, daycare. Which is so cute. Fantastic with the dogs. We're very yeah. pet friendly here. Pet friendly is an end smoke free. Absolutely. This is amazing. And the pets here are exceptionally cute. Super Just cute. Just saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rachel, In Liquid is such a cool name, but what does In Liquid really mean? Well, when I started the organization 18 years ago, I didn't want art in the title, quite honestly because I didn't want to pigeonhole what we are. And as an artist, you're constantly moving and constantly changing. Sometimes you're you know, swimming and sometimes you're drowning, quite honestly. But I like the liquid metaphor because I think it keeps the idea that things are constantly changing. And as an organization over the past 18 years, we've changed dramatically. As a, you know, a nonprofit, we have a unique, sort of unique um, niche that, so that we have. So it's a nonprofit. We are a nonprofit. That's, that's interesting. That's yes. very interesting. Um, you know, it's a, it's a challenge being a nonprofit in today's world. But I, the idea is, is that you know, all the work and all the effort is community based. You know, and we're constantly using it to, you know, build up the community of Philadelphia artists and you know, really represent them, not as a gallery does, but represent the talent in Philadelphia. I saw a little a little emblem on the building, 1959. So this yes. has been around since 1959? Um, surprisingly so. Um, we're part of the National Historic Registry. Uh, wow. We just recently received a prestigious award for the best redevelopment of a historic property here in Philadelphia. Uh, Congratulations so on that. That's a big deal. It, it's, a, it's a huge deal. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit of how you are collaborating, what got this all started with uh, Parktown? So Parktown is owned by a company called Anco, and they were really interested in bringing art into the buildings because they're right on the parkway. And you know how more relevant it is to have like art in the space, you know, and actually you know to make it more dynamic and ha have you know something for the residents, but also for potential residents, and really enliven the space. But the idea was really to create something that would be incredibly relevant and stay consistent. So there's a permanent collection that we help them place and acquire and you know, there are pieces that we've commissioned, sculptures on the ground. We have an awesome art studio. We do like to blend in with the neighbors. You know, this is Museum District. We do have a lot of artists that live here. You have a um, lot of artists that live here? Ooh, yes. that's kind of cool. So I was giving a tour the other day and I walk in and this guy has a six by four canvas and so he's doing an oil-based painting. That's huge. Beautiful, like wonderful colors. Oh, wow. Awesome. I love the way you're bringing it together, bringing it to the community and making it simple and real. Well, I think too, you know, like having these workshops and actually having the artist talks that we do here and other types of programming, you know, when you get to meet someone, the art becomes more important to you, you know, and it means something a little more. So I think, you know, having that face and the experience of creating something and why it is the way it is, I think it makes it so much more meaningful. It's and I true. think the same thing with like the workshops. Like if you're doing a workshop with an artist, you have a connection that you wouldn't norm normally have. And I think that's a really important part of what the programming here is and, and the fact that there's art in all the buildings is that they sort of connect and tell a story and you know, they each have their own dialogue. So they're all very unique. And you know, and I think you know, Park Town has done you know, and Aimco has done a beautiful job of documenting all of this, so that it's not just building a collection; it's building a collection that is meaningful. I heard something a little bit funny. Uh, what is your unofficial title here? Um, well, I'm not sure who told you that, but uh, some people do say I am the director of the cruise ship. Director uh, of the cruise ship. I mean, this this is luxury living. This is. It's like, life, life is like a vacation here. A lot That's of people say this is a resort. Uh, That's fantastic. It's a very fantastic. place to be and work. 
So uh, if I want to live here, what do I do? Sign a lease. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs>